Hey guys, it's Kai, and you're probably wondering why my hair is clipped back like this because I never do this in videos. But basically, I am impromptu showing you guys how I wash my binders because I figured why not. If you're thinking to yourself, well, why wouldn't you just throw it in the washing machine and whatnot? Some people don't like to do that. Uh, some sometimes you're not supposed to. It really depends on what binder you have and what the company says, like how to wash it. I personally don't feel comfortable putting them in the washer machine or the dryer machine because that, for some reason in my head, just I think it's going to stretch it out. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. So basically, I hand wash mine and I'm going to show you guys like what techniques I use. So the things that you'll need is some detergent. Uh, I put mine in a cup and bring it upstairs because I wash mine in the bedroom bathroom. And, you know, your dirty binder, which I already started washing this one. <laughs> Um, and then I usually wash out the sink before I do this. I'll just take some normal hand soap and wipe it all over the sink. Make sure there's no like toothpaste residue or nothing gross on there. And then I'll rinse off the sink for like a minute or so to make sure it's nice and clean and nothing weird is going to get on my binder. Then I'll go ahead and take a piece of paper towel, which as you can see is already soaking wet, and put it on the drain of my sink. I just don't like the idea of my binder going into the drain at all because it's all dirty in there. So I do that. And then I'll take my binder and I'll usually spread it out like this so that the inside part is laying there. And I'll just tilt my cup and drizzle it all over the thing. I already have soap on this so I'm not going to put more on it. And then I'll sit there and I'll rub it together like this or I'll do kind of like prayer hands with the fabric in between them and rub them together. And that's how I wash it and then I'll just go ahead and rinse it. So I will say that the parts of the binder that I give special attention to when rinsing it is the kind of the straps and the parts that aren't made of this thicker fabric because they do tend to be soapier. And then after I rinse it off, if you can see the binder, it's blending with the towel. I'll lay down a towel like this and then I'll put the binder somewhere in the middle and then I'll go ahead and fold over the towel onto it and literally just step on it. This isn't going to completely dry it obviously but this is going to help get out as much excess water as we can. I did wring it out before this but it still tends to be really wet so I'll just kind of step on it. Make sure it doesn't get uncovered on the edges so that you're not stepping on it and making it dirty again. And then I'll go ahead and grab a hanger and I'll hang up my binder on the hanger. And then I'll find something to hang my binder up on. Like I put it on my flags. I have an eyelet on top of that flag so I put that one up there. And I put one this one here. And that's basically all I do and then I let them dry. I usually let them dry for a day. Okay guys, so I'm really sorry for the camera outro for this video but I cannot find my cord. For my camera and I need to like refilm the outro so we're going with this. I hope this video was helpful to some people like I feel like this is a good way to wash your binder uh, even if your parents don't know you have a binder and whatnot and I don't know this is just how I do it and I figured I'd film it because maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know that's my goal but that's basically all I've got for this video and thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go guys Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe and forever and always.